Hi everybody and welcome to my Thomcraft 4 series and we got a little cow guy here. He's hungry I guess. So here I am in my magical forest biome which I'm so excited about. Um, and as you can hear there are lots of monsters mm. where I put my bed and my chest down. They must be right under the ground. It's really annoying the sound. Anyway, so I was just kind of exploring a bit, walking around, checking it out. Um, I moved all my stuff from the tainted area which was not good. So, here we are. Now we can mm. grab our thermometer mm. and maybe research some things. Um, see if we find anything that, obviously I've already researched most of this, but um, mm. let's see where the, mm. actually the silverwood tree, I didn't research that, right? So let's see, silverwood log. We get anything, mm. nothing, nothing from that. This is really hard, I think. I think the research, although I think it's quite fun and interesting, I think it's a... Uh, difficult to to actually find like to actually grab the I want to say the aspects or whatever let's try the leaves possibly no I'm not doing well here all right we already have water um, how about flowers I think we've already tried flowers so how about the cow actually I don't think I tried the cow did I I don't remember nope Baby cow? <laughs> just, just kidding. All right, so here we are in our magical biome. And um, basically, um, what I want to do here, because I think we're in a much safer place than before, obviously. Before I was in a place that, you know, you saw that it was like definitely going to become tainted. So what I do have, oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. I thought I moved everything. Look, I just got into the game and I forgot that I did not move my research table or my or my uh, work table. So I'll have to bring that over so we can continue researching. Um, I just wanna try to see if there's anything else we could research just by like tossing it on the ground. Um, whoa, I grabbed that and I didn't mean to. I have to stay a bit of a distance away. No, nope, the bone didn't work. But I'm sure there are other things I could try research. I just haven't had the time to just throw everything on the ground and try um, to research it. How about, you know what, uh, let's throw this clay down. Let's see? Yay, we got something. We gained one research point for Terra and one for Aqua. See, this is a part of the game of Thumbcraft that I'm not really understanding clearly. Um, Terra and Aqua, I already have these aspects, right? But I'm gaining one point for researching this. It's not like I re it's not like I I found something new. So what I'm not understanding is, because in old, in Thomcraft 3, I keep saying old Thomcraft, in Thomcraft 3, I would just put the items in the research table, the items that have the aspect, and they would just start disappearing. So what I'm not understanding is why I can't just, like, if I go to water right now and I try to use my um, thermometer again on water, I don't get more, more water aspect, right? I just got it from, like, the clay, right? Like, it has to be a different item. Like, that's the part I'm kind of not really understanding. Because we're going to need those points that we're getting for, for, for research, right? So that's, I'm just not really grasping it maybe as I should. How about coal? Um, have we thrown coal down? Let's see. Let's try coal. Uh, there we go. Two for Ignis and two for Potentia. So, like, my question is, to continue what I was saying before, how would I get more Ignis and more Potentia? Because um, I might need it, right, later for for research. More point, like, more of those points. So, I'm not really, or, or just the one point is enough. Like, I'm not really understanding. That's the part that I'm not really 100% grasping, I guess, in this form of, of Thomcraft, in this version. Um, so, anyway... I guess I should head back. I didn't realize that <laughs> I just logged in, you know, and I saw my chest. I saw, yeah, I moved everything, and I forgot that I did not move uh, my research table or the um, work table. Um, I really like the thermometer the way it looks. I have to say it's just so awesome, so well thought of, and so, you know, well done is the word I want to say. So, I see, I can't redo sand, obviously. So that's if I want to get more of that aspect to use for research, because um, we saw in the research table, it does take those points away once it researches something. So that's the part I'm not fully understanding. Let me just grab quickly, uh, because really the thermonom thermonomicon really is the heart of this whole thing and really explains everything um, to you, So to me. So let me just take a quick look at that again and understand, because what I want to see is usually... Um, what we're researching is there. So, let's see. Um, all right, we've already 
okay, how to discover things, right? Um, this is the the knowledge and the thermonomicon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just trying to see aura nodes, okay? Ores, this explains different ores. With the entropy was a tough one, guys. Definitely in swamplands. That's where you find them. There might be another type of um, uh, biome, but if you have, like, biomes of plenty installed, maybe there are other ones, but I found it in swampland, the only place that I found it. So, and their enchantments, and I'm just trying to see, sorry, if, um, where I could find great wood wand core. Cool. So they're different basic wand craft. Okay. So I'm just going to take a quick look, and when I find it, I'll be right back. I want to look at, um, oh, wow, the, uh, Night Tour. We're back with Night Tour, Elementum, Thaumium, Ingots, and Magic Talos, so I'll have to learn that. So I want to see, because if I'm research something, if I'm already beginning research of something, like you saw in my research table, I have the traveling item. How do I, is there a place I could read about that? Oh, the hungry chest. I love the hungry chest. Good old hungry chest is back. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to take a quick look here off camera and see if I find anything that, I, I just want to read up on this again to understand more clearly, and I'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Okay, I was headed back to my home, my tainted home base, remember, to get my research table, um, to bring it over to the magical forest. And actually, in the meantime, I was also reading, reading, reading the Thamanamicon, and definitely that's where it all is. I mean, I don't know why. I wasn't reading it earlier, and I wasn't sure of how to research exactly. I thought researching maybe was a little... I mean, it is easy once you read the Thamanamicon, and I didn't, so I have to read directions more. But look what I see up here, guys. One of those... One of those little temple things from Thomcraft. So there should be a chest. They had this in Thomcraft 3. Hopefully, yes. Okay, let's grab. Yes, I am loving it. All right, we got the Thomium Ingot. We got music discs. Awesome. Yay. Oh, I love to find these things. These are awesome. There's always something good. I wish there was knowledge fragments, but there aren't. That's okay. Now, I would like to look through and see if there's any. See, now, what is that there? Is that how this works? Is this like the goggles? Or... Look at that. <gasps> this is like the goggles of revealing, right? You can actually see the node with this because you don't see the nodes anymore like you used to. Look at that. Aura node. Cool. That is neat. So if I right click, does anything happen? No, nothing. Whoops. And how about here? Obsidian. I think I already took an obsidian totem and I tried this already. So nothing fancy. Here's a tile. Nothing, nothing. Doesn't give me anything. But that is so cool with this with the thermometer we can see we could see the node wow and that's one nasty tainted bad node you could tell <laughs> nothing good out of that node all right well i think we're done here all right i'm gonna head back to my home base ouch i'm gonna head back to my home base and uh, i'm glad we got all this stuff awesome and um we'll head back to the magical forest um so that we can start researching a little bit and finish the research on that one item that we already have the research notes on so i'll be back in a little bit Okay, so, so I finally made it back to my research table. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, what I don't know is if if I... Oh, my wand is there. I forgot. Okay. Um, I don't know if I break this, if everything kind of stays the same. But we're going to try it just because I just want to know the answer to that. But I hope I don't ruin everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take our research notes. See, it seems like the information is with the research notes. So we should be good. Um, let's grab our paper and our scribing tools, okay? Then, whoa. Oh, right, because I took the scribing tools, like everything disappeared, it's just a table now. Okay, so let's grab that. And I'm gonna leave everything else here. Um, actually, I'm gonna take this chest with me. So we won't be coming back here, I don't think, but I don't need these items, so I'm just gonna leave them here anyway. And, uh, well, maybe I'll take the bed, actually. That's it. The rest I don't need. All right, so we're off. We're going back to the mystical forest, forest, and um, that's where we're pretty much going to stay. That's going to be our home base. Even though just right in the spot that I am, um, I actually, <laughs> there's like a ton of zombies like right under the ground, I guess. Um, and it's so loud and annoying. It's incredible. You know what? I did want to grab some cactus. You never know. I might need that for something, especially when it comes to research. So I am going to grab some of these, actually, even though the desert is really, I think it's right next to the forest, so really it doesn't really matter, but let me just grab a few of these. And I don't know now, that's my other thing that I'm still really confused about. The quantity of items doesn't seem to matter anymore. It seems like you're researching is what, like you're not you're researching. When you use your um, thermometer, 
um, like what you, um, is it called researching? Like what you actually find or discover uh, with this? Am I right about that? See, like this. Um, but since I've already done this, then I don't get any more. See, what I don't know is how I get more of those two items that are right there in sand. How can I get a higher quantity? Do I need more quantities? That's where, that's where I'm a little confused, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'll have to keep reading that the Monomicon and see if it explains to me um, how to get more of a certain aspect uh, that's needed for, for some type of research, for instance. So that's where I'm still not getting it. It's probably something simple, but anyway, um, I'm going to head back and I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to cut the video, be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back in my home base, and let's see if I can uh, rebuild this. Let's see. Um, go ahead and place it like, uh, there we go. Place our scribing tools. In, whoa, that's not what I want to do. Um, how did I do that the last time? Um, the two. Where are my scribing tools? Right, just right click like this. There we go. Oh, it kind of made the table backwards, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scribing tools. Now let's put some paper in and our research notes. We should be back. Look, we're back exactly the way we were before. So that's good. Um, okay. So back to my, uh, the Monomicon. Okay. What I was looking at was I was, I was looking at research. Okay. And this pretty much does explain everything. I just, I guess I'm a bit impatient and I don't read everything clearly and I should. So this is explaining exa exactly how this table works and the different, um, as you can see, the different numbers are the different slots. Um, so I'm starting to, I think I get it a little more. The only thing I keep telling you is the aspects here that you see in this area. Um, I don't know how to gain more if you've already researched it kind of or found it with the uh, thermo thermometer. That's where I'm a little confused, but... I'm sure it's okay. So it's telling me to connect knowledge nodes by activating the runes. And these are the two knowledge nodes, right? So it's this kind of different colored, I want to say bluish gray, lots of different colors in there. And this is blue, actually. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, nighttime. Actually, I'm, I'm really afraid because underneath, I think, where we are, there's tons of. I can hear them. They're all. I picked the worst spot, probably. You see, we're going to hear them through the whole video. Okay, so here we go. So we want to connect these with this blue one with these three others. So this seems like a complex item I'm researching. So from what I'm understanding, the, I can move this little symbol. So let's say I can move it over there. Now this is not going to be easy because I have some here in the middle that, you know, it's hard to get out of the way. I, I think this needs to kind of connect or something. I'm not really sure. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, which way? I guess this way. I'm not really sure. Let's get this out of the way. And this one. And this one. Let's see what we got here. If I could somehow get these. Oh, this one won't move. There we go. And I don't know. I think I'm doing this right. It makes a cool sound. <laughs> um, gosh, this one's a tough one. And then I could get it this way, right? It's just kind of like connecting the dots, kind of, I want to say. But nothing is... Um, let's see if I got this right, because maybe I'm not doing this right. How do you connect these, then? That's the part that I'm not... And these two guys um, should be clear also. See, the green one, I'm not sure. See, I'm so confused. I know it should be simple, but and it probably is, but I'm a little confused with this whole connecting the dot thing. Um, so let's head over here. Um, okay, if you press it, you will ex attempt to research a selected aspect. If successful, you discover something of interest about... Um, about that aspect and a set of research notes will appear. Okay, that I did. I did the research notes. Um, each rune is linked to an aspect, an aspect, but at first it is unknown which rune represents which aspect. The rune aspect link is unique to each research subject. So a rune that might represent air this time might represent terror next time. Okay. Um... Okay, um, all right, now I kind of understand that. Okay, so this is where I'm not under, you see this, like, they have to kind of link? So active runes act as possible bridges to connect knowledge nodes. A glowing li line of energy will flow from an active knowledge node to any active rune nearby. You need to create a chain of active runes and nodes to complete the research. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
I know it's simple. I'm sure the minute I get it, it'll be simple. Um, so we're able to move each rune like two positions. We just saw that, so we can move them. Um, inactive runes mm. prevent the forming of a connection if they lie in its path. So you need to move them out of the way. So which one is inactive? The, the dark one? Let, let me go back here. Tells me over here. Let me just... Oops, sorry. This one. The node on the left is an inactive. Okay, that's where I'm messing up here. So basically, this is an inactive node, but I can't move that one. Um, this one doesn't move. It's saying it's in the left was inactive, so maybe I have to connect these guys. That's maybe where I'm a bit confused, but I can do that easily, I think. I can go ahead and just move all these things. Out of I don't know if it matters how you move it. Like, am I messing it up by moving it the wrong way or something? Let's see. Uh, let's see. See, now this is not connecting. I, I thought it was this uh, colored purple one with the active node, but it's it seems like I'm wrong on that. So I'm not really 100% sure. Or I should just keep researching items. Another thing it mentions is you can research, you can kind of link two items, which is interesting. Um, and then with two items, you would press this purple button is what I understood. See, that's why it has like the two arrows. So that's pretty easy to understand, I guess. All right, nothing is linking to anything. So I'm not, I'm not understanding. Um... I think we've already used Terra. We might not have what we need for this. Um, let's try using Terra again and see if anything happens. I think I tried that several times, actually. Nothing's happening. I could mix and match. I could put Terra with Saxum. Okay, it doesn't do anything. It just... nothing. How about Fire with Terra? This is very random, so I really shouldn't do this, because... What would go with... Wait a minute. Let's go... Um, how about light with fire? Would that be a combination? Hmm. See, now I lost the Lux. So that's my question is how do I... Okay, we don't have Lux anymore. That was my big question. Can I just click... Will I get Lux back? No. Because I've already, like, I've already found this, so I don't get it back. How do I get more... That's my main question. I'm not understanding from the amount of my con. How do I get more of these items if I need them again? Like, that's where I'm really a little lost. All right, well, I'm really stuck with my <laughs> paving stone of travel, easing your journey. Well, it's not easing my journey because I have no idea. But I probably actually, because this needs other items, I'm guessing since these have X's, I probably don't have all the items I need to actually research this. It's possible. Now, what if I took this away? Right, just to because I'm testing, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Did we always... I don't... Oh, yeah, it's because, you know what, I'm sorry. When I put this back, everything has X's. I made a mistake. Okay, so let's take this away, and let's go ahead. Tara's was... Let me just check one thing. Tara was glowing before, and these two are glowing. Why are these glowing now? I'm a little lost, because it's saying... But the X, I thought, meant that we don't need this anymore in this research. Okay. Let's go ahead and take Terra, and let's research that and see if we can get, get something new. Because these, from what I understand, if I just save this here, it's always going to be saved. I could research it later on. I believe it works like that. So let's go ahead and see. There we go. We have something new. It's the same. <laughs> it's the, it comes back the same. I thought for sure you could research, but I guess you can't research two things at once. So there we go. It, I guess it just goes right back to the original thing that I had. Now, that's funny. This has three of those purpley nodes. And this one, this one has these two green. So that's what I have to try to understand. All right, let's see if I could kind of understand. I'm going to read the book a little more and try to see if it really answers my questions. And I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back again. So I'm having a tough time here, but I think I kind of understand um, that I basically think that I don't have what's needed for this research. So let's go ahead and see. Um, I'm just going to throw everything, not everything, one at a time. I'm going to throw things on the ground and see if I can discover um, some new uh, things with my th uh, thermometer. Um, so let's go ahead and try that um, just because, whoa, <laughs> this is not, <laughs> see, it's not as easy as I thought. I know you guys are saying this is easy. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this a little differently. Let's uh, let's do this, and let's just move back a little. There we go. No. 
So for instance, this could take a while. This um, this is gold. I'm just wondering um, how I can move forward with this researching. Let's go ahead and go to, go to sleep. Now, I haven't done this with any monsters yet. Use the thermometer. Um, so I don't know. Let's try, um, let's try some bread. Um, no. I really have been stuck with being able to research stuff. How about the table itself? Does that... Oh, no, you can't do that, right? Can't do any of these things that you have to right-click anyway. So how about... Uh, how about... The... Um, let's see... I tried coal already. Let's try, did I try a bed like this? No, nope. nothing. Let's try gunpowder. Oops. There we go, gained four research points for Perdito and four for Ignis. There you go. You discovered a clue, but it is, a, it is lost since you can't record it. Oh gosh, I didn't have paper on me. Oh, I mean the scribe tools and paper. Could I do that? And you know, it's so funny because I mentioned that at the beginning. And what a bummer. Here, here's my scribing tools and paper. I need to carry these with me all the time. So that was a big mistake. I'm glad that it tells me, though, just to make me feel bad, that I should have had that on me. So I lost some type of research there. So that's a bummer. Okay, so gunpowder helped. Um, so maybe there are things still that I can, you know, that I just haven't taken the time to... This one, nothing. Okay. Um, how about thomium ingot? I don't think so, right? But you don't know. Like, we could try. Just keep throwing things on the ground and see, you know, if that has any... Nope. Gosh, I lost something before. It's going to bother me now forever what I lost that I didn't have. Okay, that I didn't have the paper on me. And let's try flint as well. Um, I didn't try flint, I don't think. Nothing. And let's just move forward and let's throw the ink ink sacks. Uh, okay, let's move. Sorry. Let's throw this again. Try that again. No. Just want to make sure that that's not um, something. Okay, so we're doing okay. A little slow process, but we've got one item. Um, how about... How about, uh, oh, Quicksilver. Definitely haven't tried that. And I don't think I've tried arrows. Well, I don't remember. I might have tried arrows, but let's clean this area up here. And actually, let's throw this down and grab our, okay. And let's also try our arrows. Nothing. Okay, grab these. Wow, this is definitely a slow process. <laughs> um, I've tried amber already. I've tried clay. Uh, hey, I haven't tried blaze powder. Um, maybe that'll give us... I guess it would just give Ignis, but might as well worth trying. Just seeing what else. Have I tried glass? Hmm, I don't remember. How about a glass file? You never know. Gotta try everything, basically. So, let's throw the piece of glass. There we go. One for Vitreous. So there we go. Okay, so we got one for Vitreous. Now let's throw the glass file down. Oh my gosh! You gained two research points. You have discovered vacuous. Okay, is that... No, okay, that has nothing to do with the paper and what I lost before. Okay, so that's good. All right, there we go. Slowly but surely. Let's throw blaze powder down. Now I'm just working with whatever... Well, with what I have in my inventory right now. Um... I'm sure if we go to the nether, there must... Whoa! Uh, gain two research points for Ignis. You have discovered Precantatio. You have discovered a clue to new research! Precantatio, remember magic! So, our scribing tools seem that they have been used a little bit. And we have one foci! Yes! <laughs> Whatever that is. I have no clue, but hey... All right. Well, I'm so glad I was able to fix, you know, at least this time I had the paper on me and stuff. So you just have to watch that lower right corner and always read what it says in case you don't know, like me, what's going on. So I wonder now, if I take this away and I put the wand foci, huh, this is what's really making me crazy. So these are the inactive nodes, the purple, and this is the active node. 
basically, um, oh, so vacuous. Here it is, void. So I discovered that item. So I have that now in my in my like aspects here. So, for instance, the wand. A wand would definitely have magic, right? So if we click this, whoa, whoa, two more purple thingies coming out. So this is where this is where I'm confused. According to the instructions, it doesn't say that those purple purple runes are have to be connected. So this is where I'm a little. This is now to move forward here. I'm just a little confused. Probably the simplest thing in the world. I know you're saying that's the simplest thing. I'm sure it is. But for some reason, I'm a little lost. Let's try. Potentia seems to be in like lots of items. Remember in Bombcraft 3? Okay, the red herring. They mentioned the red herring, but I'm not. So now that's called a red herring, not a fish. So I'm not 100% sure. So I am going crazy. <laughs> because I want to just discover everything already. But I want to kind of understand this rune screen better and I'm having I'm having some trouble I can't lie so um, if you guys can help me out and let me know what you think how I can move forward let me know as you can see I'm just a little bit stuck but I think with a little time and a little patience with me which I appreciate you guys have always been great um, let me know what you think I guess what I'm trying to understand is the purple runes the glowy ones as opposed to the inactive and the active nodes did I do that correctly with the um, paving stone of travel? Where, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This one is different because this was the one I, see, I moved everything out of the way. Now this one's different because this one has a different, a whole, a whole, a whole different thing. So I'm really confused with these green glowy and this has purple glowy. So are those runes, now these two runes, you can see it's the same symbol, so it's the same item. It might be something I do need for this, an aspect I need. So, and just before I waste any more aspects, um, just, this might be a complicated question. Basically, I'm trying to understand if all five of these get connected or just these inactive ones maybe disappear at some point and only connect these. I'm not really, this is where I'm a little, little confused. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Slowly but surely we'll get there. See, I kind of like to figure it out, but I also would appreciate your help right now because I'm a little lost and confused on how to move forward. Um, but maybe I'll do a little practice here on the side. Like, I don't know. Well, I don't want to waste stuff. That's another thing. I can't really just do it because I don't want to waste any. It seems like every time I click and I, you know, use this green arrow button, um, the item disappears from this left side. So... You know, like, I'll have instead of 10, I'll have only 9 Saxon. So I don't want to waste, but I am a little bit confused right here. So maybe I'll just go back to my Thermonomicon again, Thermonomicon, and read it again and again and again until something makes any sense. Because this is that last page. This is not, oh, see, the glowy gets linked with the actives. But that's why I'm not sure about the inactive. Because here it's saying... This purple one is inactive, and I think that they're supposed to link. So that's where I'm a little... See, it's showing the purple and showing glowy. So there is some relation with all of them, but... Uh, yeah, I'm a little confused. All right, I'm going to have to do my best and see what I can figure out. And hopefully, look at these glowy ones. That's another thing. These three glowy, is, that's what, is that needed for this research? You know, it might be. But I don't want to just throw things out there. So we'll do it in the next episode. We'll continue researching this one foci and see how far we get. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you're enjoying all my series, my Thomcraft, my Feed the Beast Unleashed, my Magic Farm. And last but not least, my most interesting one that I'm really interested in is the um, the Lord of the Ring mod. That's really cool. I'm not the Lord of the Ring. <laughs> the Lion King. It's because I want to do Lord of the Rings, but it's not finished that mod yet, so I'm waiting. Why did I say Lord of the Rings? Actually, I think I should have a movie marathon and watch all three of them. That's like a whole day to watch all three movies again. I just love those movies, so thinking of doing that. Anyway, guys, thanks to you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.